greeting students in this session we'll be discussing on how to do or in what or what are the next procedures to be followed after clearing the reattempt of your qualifier so now let's start the uh, session without any late so for the reattempt students you need not you need not consider all these things the only thing that you need to may remember is that you have given your exam on 6th of august yes you will definitely remember that and today being 11th of august you got your results as well and and your registration will open from 18th of september that is you won't be able to continue in this batch in the current batch so you will have you will have to wait up to the next batch which starts from september fine so let us move on to the next point if you see this if you see the dashboard of this student he scored 61 in his first attempt and 81 in his second attempt right this is the point to be noted and now coming to the individual scores if you see the individual scores here for in in statistics his score was 54 in the first attempt english one 90 in the first attempt mathematics 19 in the first attempt computational thinking 80 in the first attempt so he has to appear only for mathematics but he must have appeared due to not being satisfied he might be unsatisfactory for that reason he must have attempted all the subjects so in this second qualifier he he scored 55 due to which his score turned out to be 55 out of this out of the two attempts his better score stood at 90 because he because having scored 86 in the second attempt the best score is 90 and therefore it remains to be 90 and in computational thinking he scored 44 in the second attempt but his final score was kept to be 80 and for mathematics uh, and for mathematics from 19 he secured a whooping 97% great right so from this what i can what i insist to tell you is that only the best of scores best of attempts will be taken so the best of two attempts will be taken into consideration for calculating your final score and for the easy for the credit clearing capability as well to explain much detail let us take only ct subject in the ct subject this belongs to another student this is only to tell that the best of the two attempts will be taken in the in the first attempt he scored 23% in the second attempt he scored 43% therefore his score will stand out to be 43 only because it's the highest and now these are the minimum required scores in each course in order to pass your qualifier exam for the ones who for the ones this is only for the ones who try to pass this quarter this re attempt as well you can attempt once again that's of no problem general learner that is the ones OC we call them to be OC and OBC cre creamy layers fine they must get um, they must have a score of 40 out of 100 as their minimum score that is you will have to attempt or you will have to score at least 20 marks out of 50 in order to clear qualifier in individual subjects and for sc st or the person with their disability he or she has to score 30% is 30 is the minimum required score that means they must have scored 15 out of 50 this is another relaxation being provided to you and and the minimum and the average qualifier exam score must be 40% that means it must be 40 out of 100 that in that sense it must be 80 out of 200 and again now coming to pwd with 40% and sc st <sighs> so
so it is what it is 30% if you see here sc st or pwd with 40% is being repeated here as well but the difference is it is this 30% will be made available to the student who who is who is both an sc or an sc student apart from being an sc and sc candidate if he or she has pwd with 40% both of them then in that case this relaxation will be given if you are obc non creamy layer category student or if you are an economically weaker society then you will have to score 35 out of 100 to be the uh, minimum score in each course that is you will have to score 17.5 out of 50 in every subject in order to clear the qualifier now coming to the minimum required score and the maximum required score what is the relation between these two yes definitely there is a relation here the minimum required score is what why did they not mention 50 because there are some relaxations being provided to students for that case they did not mention this minimum required here therefore if your score so the first option will be applicable only for the ones who are ha- who are eligible who are or the ones who belong to these three categories called sc st ews or pwd only these four category students will be taking the advantage of having a lesser minimum and in ki let us imagine that a person or student scored 40 as their score let us say that with uh, pwd student most probably anyone prob- anyone that's not an issue if not 40 let us say 42 42 is less than 50 right therefore they will have the eligibility to register for two courses out of the four courses available for foundation term 1 if you score with if you had a better score that means if you had some 57 or something you can take up to 3 courses of your choice and if your score is above 70 or sa- if your score is greater than or is equal to 70 then you can opt for all the four courses i hope it's fine for you all now so on the 18th of this september yeah on 18th of september by at, at more by around 9 to by 9 or 10 am you will be getting a link gets activated in your dashboard on the left hand side that is yeah there is no dashboard here uh, beside these four subjects there will, there will be some options right if you remember them it will be my current courses latest updates completed and pending courses pending payments uh, set your documents to download everything in that this uh, there will be a new option called registration registration for new courses you will have to click on that tab which redirects you to the payment and the and to the selection of courses tab as well so that is what is completely is the next steps is they are the next steps so today is 11th of august you will be this payment link and this registration link will be open on 18th september at 10 am and please do remember the registration closes after exactly 24 hours that is it will start on 18th 10 am and it will end on 19th 10 am or in any other possible case it will be from 18th to 20th only it will not be postponed beyond that our suggestion and our most important tip is if you are a full time student only then go for four or only then go for four courses else if you are doing only if you are a full time student on this program then 
do take four courses so that it, you can manage your time workload if you are doing some other offline degree as well two or three courses is highly recommendable if you are an offline degree student as well if you have to solve or if you have to do some online degree or even if you are working professional in that case for working professionals we highly recommend taking two courses only because you need to manage your workload as well so it will be very comfortable with two courses of ta taking which are of your the, your happiness so this is what the next steps are i hope that all of you who must have liked the video please do like the video and stay subscribed to the channel thank you